हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर कनक सक्सेना डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जेनेटिक्स एंड प्लांट ब्रीडिंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट पाथ कोफिशेंट एनालिसिस दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन क्वान्टिटेटिव जेनेटिक्स एंड मैनी एम एस सी एग्रीकल्चर स्टूडेंट्स यूज दिस टाइप ऑफ एनालिसिस इन दियर थीसिस नाउ वट इज पाथ coefficient analysis the concept of path analysis was originally developed by right in 1921 and this technique was first time used for plant selection by doer and liu in 1959 in wheat grass now here is the question ask in many grf srf and icr net examination who developed this technique or who used this technique first time for plant selection the answer is do and leo in 1959 and after that ramanujan ramanujan uses this technique in brassica in 1963 the path coefficient analysis is simply a standardized partial regression coefficient which splits correlation coefficient into measures of direct effect and indirect effect now let's understand the path coefficient analysis by using the path diagram these character x1 x2 and x3 these are the independent variables suppose number of primary branches in plant number of pods or number of seeds per pod these are the characters and independent variables and here is the dependent variable x4 suppose this is grain yield or seed yield yield is the dependent character and these all the characters are independent characters and x1 x2 x3 are the independent variables now what do you mean by the direct effect and what is indirect effect when x1 variable or number of primary branches directly affect the grain yield see p14 this indicate the direct effect of x1 variable on x4 same here in x2 p24 means uh, x2 variable is directly um, associated with x4 and x3 for uh, directly associated with the x4 so these are the estimates of direct effect of variables x1 x2 and x3 on the dependent variable x4 and here r12 r14 r12 r13 these are the correlation coefficient between variable x1 and x2 here x1 and uh, this is wrong x3 r13 and this is x2 and x3 these correlation coefficient or bidirectional arrows indicate the uh, via effect or indirect effect of one variable on the other variable theek okay? hai correlation coefficient is the association between two variables here the simple correlation between r1 to indicates the association between variable x1 on x2 na no? association between x2 and x3 here association between the uh, variable uh, x1 and x3 so r indicate the simple correlation between the variables and p show the direct effect of variables on the independent variable now path coefficient analysis is based on three calculations calculations uh, direct effect indirect effect and the residual effect residual effect is denoted by capital r now let's come to the direct effects we already seen in previous slide each component character like x1 x2 and x3 will have a direct effect on yield x4 in it also exert the indirect effect by other component correlation r12 r13 r23 the direct effect or contribution of various factors estimated by solving the equations after putting the simple correlation coefficient values and from that estimates of direct effect are obtained now how we calculate the indirect effects indirect effects of an independent character on the dependent one via other independent trait is known as indirect effect what it means the independent character 
is x1 x2 x3 number of primary branches number of pods number of seeds per pods these are the independent characters and effect of these independent characters on the dependent one x4 yield is the dependent why are different effects r12 r13 r14 why are effect or indirect effect is known as indirect effects now indirect effects can be calculated by using the value of correlation coefficient and the value of direct effect for example indirect effect of primary branches or x1 these are x1 x2 x3 and this is x4 this one p14 p24 and p34 these are the direct effect values and this is r12 this is r13 and this is bidirectional arrow r23 these are the simple correlation coefficient between the variables okay now we all know that the value of indirect effect is calculated by multiplying the uh, simple correlation coefficient between the two variables into the direct effect okay now let's see the first example indirect effect of primary branches x1 via secondary branches means x2 so we have to put r12 one is x1 variable on the second variable so two into direct effect direct effect of the another independent character second into the four okay similarly x1 on pods per plant or x3 x1 on x3 so we put here r13 okay into p324 understand similarly the indirect effect of secondary branches or x2 will be calculated via primary branches so here we put the r12 because the association between the first variable on the second variable okay multiply 1 on the 4 direct effect of the other independent variable on the independent variable okay so here p14 via pods per plant or x3 x2 on x3 so here r2 okay x2 on x3 so here r23 into third one on the fourth now p34 direct effect of third variable on the fourth so here this is the way we calculate the indirect effects of independent character on the dependent one via other independent traits now after calculating the direct effects and indirect effects third one is the residual effect residual effect is the pattern of interaction of other possible components of yield or we said the green yield okay or the dependent variable indicated as the residual effect it measures the role of other possible independent variables which were not included in the study on the dependent variable the residual means bacha hua you know, rest of the effect is estimated with the help of direct effect and simple correlation coefficients now what is path diagram in path analysis a line diagram which is constructed with the help of simple correlation coefficient among various character included under the study is known as path diagram and why this diagram is useful because it gives a visual picture of cause and effect situation so that the presentation of results looks more attractive it also gives information of the association between the uh, characters or different variables it helps in understanding the direct and indirect contribution of various independent variable towards the dependent one okay and it also help in simultaneous equations which are used for the estimation of direct effect indirect effect and residual effects now let's come to the merits and demerits of path coefficient analysis this analysis gives information about the cause and effect situation 
of course this is a partial regression coefficient and the uh, regression means the uh, cause and effect situation is regression and the association between the variable is correlation so it also helps in understanding the association between the variables this analysis also gives information about the direct effect of various characters on the yield as well as indirect effects by other component traits so estimates of direct and indirect effect is determine the yield components path analysis also provide basis for selection of superior genotypes from the diverse breeding population okay so we can get information about the indirect effect direct effect positive direct effect and which component traits are directly or indirectly affected the yield let's come to the demerits of path coefficient analysis since path analysis is based on linearity and additivity rule so uh, it is designed to deal with the variables having the additive effect if there are some variables uh, that show non additive effect uh, this analysis may lead to the wrong results and the uh, inclusion of many variables uh, dependent variables independent variables uh, wire trait uh, or indirect uh, component traits the inclusion of these variables uh, in the analysis is quite complicated and uh, time taking let's talk about the applications of analysis in crop improvement how it is important this technique helps in indirect selection of important characters for the genetic improvement of yield how because if the correlation between the yield and other character is due to direct effect of uh, such character then it reflects true relationship between them and selection is practiced for such character in order to improve the yield okay now selection for that component trait with a view to improve the yield is called as indirect selection and while selection for yield per se is termed as direct selection it means if we are directly uh, select the yield this is known as direct selection and if we use some characters that directly improve the yield okay and uh, we are improving those character which affect the yield so improvement of that component trait which indirectly improve the yield component is called as indirect selection okay understand now there is a scientist early 1965 has reported that the indirect selection would be more efficient than the direct selection for the yield so by using the path coefficient analysis technique uh, in plant breeding we can select the characters which directly or indirectly help for the uh, improvement of the yield so thank you so much and uh, please watch this uh, video lecture and uh, make some notes for exam point of view